that the real man. Hello friends, uh, as I'm away uh, with my son to Hastings, so this is a short video lesson on parametric equation of ellipse. In the last class, if you remember, I talked about parametric equation of a circle and uh, today I'm going to talk about parametric equation of a of an ellipse and an hyperbola. Okay, now an ellipse, you know, uh, a standard equation of an ellipse uh, centered at 0, 0 is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Now you should be having this in your formula sheet. The parametric equation of a of an ellipse is x is equal to a cos theta and y is equal to b sine theta. This theta can be t, okay, because the parameter can be t or theta. Okay, t stands for time. So you're thinking of an object going around an ellipse at time zero would be year and so on. Okay, now how did this formula come? So from year we'll prove this backwards, okay? So what will happen? So if this is so, if you square both sides, x squared is equal to a squared cos squared theta. And if you square, uh, square both sides, you'll get this. And uh, in the next step, if you divide both sides by a squared, you get x squared over a squared is equal to cos squared, and y squared over b squared is sine squared. And we know this formula, sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. This is a, the most basic trig identity. So we are substituting what is cos squared? is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So that's what I've said. Instead of theta, you can have t. Okay. t is for time or your capital T. When you calculate it, it will be capital T. Okay. So it can be x is equal to cos a cos t, y is equal to b sine t. So I've uh, done one, one simple example. x is equal to 4 cos t and y is equal to 2 sine t. I'll first show you on a graphic calculator how to draw it. So you go to menu, go to graph, and then go to type. Okay, now this is a parametric, F3 is on the parametric. Okay, so F3. So they are asking what is XT1. So my XT1 is 4 cos T. And my YT1 is 2 sin T just like that and then graph it f6 so you can see an ellipse but the problem with this is it will not send, tell you we can only see from this you can see that the major radius is 1 2 3 4 and the minor radius is 2 and the set, it's centered at 0 0 that's all it, it will not do any g solve because these are not uh, do not do anything I think so let me try uh, roots and it doesn't work here because this is in a parametric form. Okay, now what I've done is I made uh, converted this into Cartesian form, which I hope you understand is x squared over 16 plus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. So you all know, know these things major radiuses, uh, major radiuses 4, minor radiuses 2, and focal length is plus or minus square root of t, so 12, and so this is. You can graph this, you already know that. Okay, now regarding hyperbola, the equation, the parametric equation is x is equal to a sec t and y is equal to b sine tan t. It can be theta, yeah? Oh, I have <laughs> I made that mistake. So, yeah, so I'll change this to t theta, yeah? Because I have continued with theta. Okay. It doesn't make, make any difference. So, this is. If you make, if you divide both sides by a and then square it, you'll get this. The same thing here. And we know what sec squared minus tan squared is equal to 1 from the identity. 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta. You can look in your formula sheets. And if you make, uh, so from this you can write this. That is sec squared minus tan squared is 1. And then you get this equation of a hyperbola which is centered at 0, 0. Again, you can check this on a calculator. You can press this on a calculator and you'll get a hyperbola, but it'll only draw it. Okay, it will not draw the asymptotes and 
uh, that you can't find the other critical point. So you go type parametric. So instead of four sec, sec you know is the reciprocal of cos. So I'll type it four divided by cos t. And y is equal to three tan t. And it will just draw the, can you see? It is, these are the two branches of the hyperbola. So the vertex are uh, four plus negative four and plus four. And there's some totes go like this. You know that. So now if you make, if you convert this into the Cartesian form, it'll be x squared over 16 minus y squared over nine is equal to one, okay? And uh, this is how you graph it. Okay, so now I want you to get the textbook and start working from the textbook uh, dealing with find, uh, I don't remember the, I made it making this video at home, so I don't have the textbook exercise number. Find the exercise number of parametric equation of an ellipse and parametric equation of hyperbola and try to do as much as you can. See you on Wednesday. Thank you.